I'll say a potentially sad day for some of the players in Seattle. And before you get too concerned, it is senior day as Oregon State matches up against Washington. Nadja Burton, Mike Yam with you. Uh, can I call it the Burton Bowl? You used to rock that UW uniform as a player, and then you were on the staff at Oregon State. Yeah, feel free. You can call it a Burton Bowl, and then whoever team, whatever team wins uh, is not just team. All right. <laughs> I like where your head's at. <laughs> Senior day, you're UW, you experienced it. What's it going to be like for the guys? You know, it's really emotional. And the thing that I'm, I, I kind of listened to Manny Wilkins last week, and I probably, I wish I had done the same, is embrace the emotion of the day. I kind of tried to fight it a little bit because I just wanted to do my job that particular day. But I think when I look back on it, I wish I had done it. I hope that Jake Browning kind of looks around and just feels all the love from those Husky fans and just embrace the emotion of the day and then go about your business. All right, Jonathan Smith knows what it's like to be on the Washington side. He was their offensive coordinator. What's it like for for him in a matchup <laughs> against UW. I, I played against my mentor three different times. I coached against Mike Riley and Tim Walsh. I went 0 for 3. <laughs> so I would say, Jonathan, don't listen to anything I have to say. But hey, listen, his familiarity not only with the system but with the players, I think is going to be a huge advantage for Oregon State. Unfortunately, I think there's a talent deficiency between the two programs, so advantage Washington. Yeah, looking forward to this matchup. And once again, at the end of the night, we got everyone covered. Oregon State and UW on Pac-12 Network. We have it on Final Score.